Semiconductors are the invisible foundation of modern civilization. Though we rarely see them, their presence is woven into the fabric of our daily lives, quietly powering the world around us. Billions of tiny switches etched onto silicon power everything from smartphones to global finance. Each microchip is a marvel of engineering, enabling the seamless flow of information, transactions, and connections that define our era. These chips are the brains behind our communication, entertainment, transportation, and healthcare. From the moment we wake up and check our phones, to the systems that guide airplanes and monitor patients in hospitals, semiconductors are at the heart of it all. The world simply does not function without them. Imagine, a single day without chips. Cities would go dark, communication would halt, and essential services would grind to a standstill. This makes the semiconductor industry one of the most strategically important sectors on the planet. Its influence stretches from the trading floors of Wall Street to the most advanced research labs. Nations that master advanced chip design and manufacturing gain not just economic, but national security advantages. The ability to produce cutting-edge chips is now seen as a matter of sovereignty and global influence. The global economy's pulse is tied to the semiconductor supply chain. One disruption can halt entire industries. From cars to computers, production lines everywhere depend on a steady flow of chips. The recent global chip shortage exposed just how fragile and interconnected this system is. Shortages rippled across continents affecting everything from consumer electronics to critical infrastructure. For decades, a handful of countries and companies have dominated key stages creating both stability and vulnerability. This concentration of expertise and capacity has shaped the balance of power in the tech world. The relentless race for smaller, faster, more powerful chips, measured in nanometers, drives technological progress. Each breakthrough unlocks new possibilities, from artificial intelligence to quantum computing. Control over the most advanced manufacturing nodes means control over the future of technology. Whoever leads in chip innovation will shape the next generation of digital life. The era when chip making was purely commercial is over. It's now a high-stakes contest of innovation and political will. Governments and corporations alike are investing billions to secure their place in this new technological order. The winner could shape the course of the century, influencing not just economies, but the very way we live, connect, and dream about the future. For decades, the prevailing narrative was that only a Western-led ecosystem could produce the world's most advanced semiconductors. The belief was so strong that it shaped global policy, investment, and even the ambitions of entire nations. The West's dominance in chip technology seemed unshakable, almost inevitable. The United States led in chip design, setting the pace for innovation. Japan supplied the ultra-pure chemicals essential for manufacturing, while the Netherlands' ASML provided the world's only extreme ultraviolet lithography machines, crucial for making the tiniest, most powerful chips. This intricate web of specialization, spanning continents and cultures, appeared impenetrable. No single country could hope to master every link in the chain, making collaboration and dependence inevitable. Constructing a state-of-the-art fabrication plant costs billions of dollars and demands tools and expertise from hundreds of specialized vendors around the globe. The barriers to entry were sky-high. ASML's EUV systems became the ultimate choke point. When export controls were imposed, the goal was clear. Freeze China's progress and maintain the West's technological lead. Chinese companies like SMIC found themselves cut off, forced to rely on older DUV machines. It seemed they were locked out of the high-end chip market, unable to compete at the cutting edge. Western analysts confidently predicted that China would remain several generations behind, unable to catch up or break through the technological blockade. But this strategy underestimated the sheer determination, resourcefulness, and ambition driving China's engineers and scientists. Instead of simply copying the Western model, China was forced to innovate, developing new techniques, tools and approaches from the ground up, often under immense pressure and tight restrictions. The idea that there was only one path to advanced chip making was, in reality, a myth. Innovation can emerge from adversity, and necessity often sparks new solutions. Now, China was about to challenge the old order, proving that forging a new path through the technological wilderness was not only possible, but inevitable. In late 2025, 
The tech world was stunned as reports emerged that SMIC had successfully fabricated a 2 nanometer chip without access to ASML's cutting-edge EUV machines, which were long considered essential for such advanced manufacturing. This achievement sent shockwaves through the global semiconductor industry, raising questions about how SMIC had managed to leapfrog technological barriers that had stymied others for years. This wasn't a case of industrial espionage or copying foreign designs. It was a radical reinvention of the chip manufacturing process, born out of necessity and relentless innovation. SMIC's engineers had to rethink every step, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible with existing tools. SMIC perfected self-aligned quadruple patterning, or SAQP, using older DUV lithography machines. By layering and etching with unprecedented precision, they achieved results that rivaled those of the most advanced fabs in the world all without the latest Western technology. Achieving this at the 2 nanometer scale required not just technical skill, but true mastery of material science and process control, far beyond what most experts believed was possible with d technology. Every atom had to be accounted for, every variable tightly controlled. SMEC's holistic approach brought together domestic toolmakers, material suppliers, and software developers into a single, unified effort. This ecosystem, fueled by massive government investment and national determination, allowed for rapid problem-solving and innovation at every level. Sanctions and export controls forced China to build a homegrown supply chain from scratch. This challenge became an opportunity, enabling rapid, tightly integrated innovation that would have been impossible in a more fragmented system. This leap didn't just advance China's chip industry, it shattered the notion that technological choke points are permanent or insurmountable. The world saw that barriers could be broken with enough ingenuity and resolve. With sufficient resources, talent, and willpower, alternative paths can always be forged, even in the face of overwhelming odds and global skepticism. China's chip industry wasn't just surviving under pressure, it was thriving and innovating, setting new standards for what could be achieved through collaboration and determination. SMIC's breakthrough signaled not just a technical milestone, but the dawn of a new era in the global chip war, one where the rules are being rewritten and new leaders are emerging. SemiC's 2 nanometer success is built on a web of interconnected breakthroughs, a new playbook for chip making. At its core, aggressive use of AI to overcome the limits of older equipment. AI-driven lithography pre-corrects for distortions, ensuring near-perfect patterns on silicon. Quantum design principles allow Chinese engineers to optimize circuit layouts, squeezing more performance from each chip. Adaptive factories, packed with sensors, feed trillions of data points into central AI systems that predict and prevent defects in real time. This system is resilient, constantly recalibrating to maintain high yields despite equipment or material variation. China's model, born from constraint, is built on adaptability and computational cleverness. It's a fundamentally different philosophy, one that challenges Western dominance by prioritizing systemic flexibility over reliance on a single perfect tool. China's chip revolution isn't just about machines, it's powered by a massive influx of global talent. Thousands of engineers and executives from TSMC, Samsung, Intel, and more have relocated to China, lured by huge salaries and national pride. This is a strategic recruitment effort, targeting entire teams with specialized expertise. These veterans bring the tacit knowledge needed to solve the countless problems of advanced manufacturing. Their arrival has given Chinese firms a dramatic shortcut, avoiding years of trial and error. The brain drain has weakened competitors and accelerated China's progress. The fusion of homegrown innovation and imported experience created a powerful synergy. This is how SMIC turned the dream of a 2 nanometer chip into reality, shocking the world. Behind SMIC's commercial success lies a secretive military dimension. Project Phoenix, a top-secret PLA initiative, aims for absolute semiconductor self-sufficiency and technological leapfrogging in AI, hypersonics, and electronic warfare. With unlimited budgets, Researchers explore radical technologies, exotic materials, new transistor architectures, beyond commercial reach. Breakthroughs are sanitized and transferred to civilian firms like SMIC, giving China a crucial edge. This military-civil fusion accelerates innovation and blurs the line between commercial and strategic technology. The real game-changers may be hidden deep within China's secret labs, shifting the global balance of power.
Smikey's multi-patterning success hinges on AI mastery at every production stage. AI isn't just spotting defects, it orchestrates the entire process, making atomic scale adjustments in real time. Smart materials embedded with molecular markers are analyzed by sensors and AI, which fine-tune process parameters on the fly. This ensures unprecedented consistency and yield, even with older DUV machines. During lithography and etching, AI acts as a digital twin, running simulations and correcting errors before they happen. Every wafer produced makes the system smarter, creating a cycle of continuous improvement. China has transformed chip making into a dynamic intelligent process, growing chips in an AI-controlled digital ecosystem. Semi sees two nanometer breakthrough as a geopolitical earthquake, it signals the end of Western controlled supply chains and creates a new center of gravity in the East. If China can mass produce high end chips, it will reshape global trade, squeeze industry profits, and trigger a price war. The US's power to use export controls will diminish, and the world may split into rival tech ecosystems. Nations will be forced to choose sides, fragmenting the internet and global alliances. The old rules of technological leadership no longer apply. Innovation finds new paths under pressure. The chip race is now a chaotic, multi-front contest. The future of global power hangs in the balance.